Well guys, it's been another crazy week here on IO, IO Trends, and IO2. What everyone's been talking about are these movie trailers from Comic Con. You got Deadpool, you got Suicide Squad, you got X-Men, you got Batman vs Superman. So basically the boys here, well we were all delighted. Sandra too. Well I decided to take this information and a viral video starring Charlotte McKinney over to the guys at the Todd Shapiro Show. Welcome to IO Radio, my name's Michael McCrudden, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Michael McCrudden, how are you pal? Fantastic, guys. I'm doing actually really, really well. You a, lot of, a lot of cool things are going on. Like what? Uh, Inform Overload. We just got uh, some mainstream media exposure today. The okay. Tr the Toronto Sun came by and did like an interview with little old Inform Overload. Hang on a second. <laughs> <laughs> We're so excited. <laughs> Who did it? Strobel? Uh, we got Sean Fitzgerald. I okay, so mainstream. You don't even know the reporter's name, and he just left you an hour ago. Okay. He just left me an yeah. hour ago. Correct. Well, this is all very new to us. This is very new to us. <laughs> well, Sounds like it. Listen, YouTube is where it's all going. We're so blessed that you're helping out on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Todd Shapiro Show. It's where, uh, you know, you get you get, you get get the extremes, I always say, of the, the huh, you know, the people falling down and hurting themselves. To the real kind of controversial videos, like you get that, you know, you get those extremes, and then the feel good stuff too. So anyway, what's going on in your world? I actually need uh, some help from you guys on this story because it's 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 a bit more sports related. You know, I'm not really a sports guy. Yeah. Uh, Charlotte McKinney's in it. I know all about this girl. She's absolutely beautiful. Isn't she a river dancer? Charlotte McKinney's a river dancer? Isn't she? Uh, I've done her backstory. I never caught that. Oh, I mean, who's Charlotte McKinney? Oh, she's wow. She's Kate Upton's, uh, well, Kate Upton's basically ready to retire. This girl's oh taking over. Oh, my God. Look at this girl. She's with Gronkowski in a, in a, uh, in a, in a commercial here. So uh, this Gronkowski, what's he? He's famous for doing. Oh, uh, you don't know who Gronk is? I don't know. You're not even allowed guys. in the room, Brody. Is he allowed in the room? Get out of here, man. Okay. <laughs> you gotta go. Uh, you Gronk, gotta go. You gotta run. Gronk is the best NFL tight end in the world. Super Bowl champion with the New England Patriots. And a fun guy and a dude. He's like, if you read his articles, man, he's so f cool. He's like, yeah, I'm worth millions. I wear the same jeans I wore in college. Oh, like yeah. he just like he's just one of those guys. Wow, he's got good taste in women. Is he, he dating her? Uh, he's he's cast her in his video. I'm sure they've uh, they've crossed paths and it's evolved into more. Who wouldn't date her? And apparently he's the coolest. So this ever. is on Funny or Die. Have a listen. I fantasized about Gronk lovingly spiking different items onto my butt. Yeah, kind of a waste of time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's hot. Yeah, we'll put it on the Facebook page. You can see it. What else? He's uh, he's wasting his time on the butt because the girls, it's the chest she's all about. Those are 32 Fs unheard of in the modeling industry. But she's making it work, and I'm okay with that. She actually accidentally Instagrammed a photo of herself topless. Yes. Um, not too long ago, probably two weeks ago. Correct. And uh, what a treat. What a treat for the world. Not, uh, not only that, she also kind of let us into the fact that she likes to throw back a few drinks and be a massive tease. She's like, oh my gosh, it was so amazing getting to meet my fans and having so many drinks. And then the nip slip and then it was taken down. She's really beautiful. I love a girl who can party. Yeah. she. To be honest, she, it's funny because she's got a very porn star look with the height of a model, I would say. Yes. So I think that's probably like the, the allure, but definitely much more curvy than you're used to in these type of... You know, sort of when they become supermodel status as opposed to like, you know, the, like the, the Vita Guerra who we had on the program uh, this week. You know, she's more, they're shorter, they're curvier. Oh, wow. She's kind of got the height and it all. But yeah, good for her, whatever. She's a hot chick. What else is going on in the world? Uh, the Inform Overload world. Go to that YouTube channel. McCrudden's funny. Those guys have like 5 billion hits, man. People absolutely love what they're doing there. And uh, it's fun stuff. It's it's quirky, easy, fun stuff. That's the best way to describe it. Leaked trailers. Uh, it was all, it was just blowing up everywhere with we had Deadpool we had Suicide Squad we had Batman versus Superman oh Jay you must be stoked for all of them they look good I haven't I did not get the opportunity to watch Deadpool yeah I enjoyed Suicide Squad film Toronto looks very much like a Toronto film too which is mm. really cool mm. uh, Batman versus Superman what's not to love it looks <gasps> great Man, yeah, I, how are people complaining about that? I watched that, that trailer, and I was just like this looks awesome my only question was because I don't know the difference between all this stuff when when Suicide Squad comes out, is Batman not a part of that? Oh yeah, it's the same universe. So yeah. it's kind of like they're all in the. But same... is he going to be in that movie? Yes. So when does when are the movies coming out? Which one's first? So Batman versus Superman comes out first, and then the Suicide Squad follows it. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. Now, will Joker be involved in Batman versus Superman? Not officially. The rumor is though that that when Ben Affleck was in Toronto, 
they filmed scenes for Suicide Squad oh, and Batman vs. Wow. Superman. Okay, okay, that's so cool. The trailer kind of would indicate for Batman vs. Superman that Joker has some sort of involvement, but nothing official as far as casting or IMDb has come out for Jared Leto to be in that film. Oh okay, cool. So I we just don't fell know in love with yeah. you, Jay. Hey, thank you. Holy yeah, yeah, all that because that's good stuff. So what's going? So you, so De what's Deadpool now? That's that's the big one that you wanted to talk about. Yeah, Ryan Gosling. Well, like he's been trying to make this movie for actually uh, Ryan Reynolds, right? Ryan Reynolds has been trying to make this movie for ten years, uh, and they just wouldn't do it. He would, demanded that it would be X rated because uh, he just didn't want to play to the kids. Obviously, he had the Green Lantern that didn't work out. Anyway, they put it out there. It's it hasn't been the official. We still got to look at a kind of a grainy, dirty version. Yeah, but, I don't think I'm going to play it because yeah. I don't think it's going to translate well. But yeah. because because it's just like trailers don't always do well here on the radio program. So so he's he's crazy. Is he a big a bad guy? He's, he's you know almost more. like an anti-hero. So Deadpool is a <laughs> is this this character who has severe issues. He's got an incredible hearing fa factor, but he's got like cancers of the head, the brain, oh, no. the liver, and the tumor is making him go crazy. Uh, so as a consequence of those tumors, he breaks the fifth wall in his it, during the comics and uh, apparently also in the film. So he'll talk to the audience directly kind of thing. He'll he'll yeah. stop in the middle of fighting a bad guy to discuss something with the audience. And in the trailer, he went on to make fun of Ryan Reynolds. He's like, finally, I have a suit that's not green or animated in <laughs> reference to the Green Lantern Sick. films he did. So, Unbelievable. Yeah, it's good times. Jeez, Jay. What else going on? Yeah, yeah, he's I'm dude, a big it, geek. Honestly, man, thank you. Inform Overload is a great channel. It's really quirky. That's all it is, man. Don't take it too seriously. But have some fun with it. And you really, you catch up with all the topical stuff going on. This is the idea I've been looking for. What's topical for no reason today? Well, there you have it. Another week in the can with the boys over at the Todd Shapiro Show. Now, they have their own YouTube channel and they're pumping out great content each and every day. So, if you like these guys, if you like Jay Brody, he knows a lot about them superheroes, we'll head on over there and subscribe. Thanks so much, guys, for tuning in. We love our subscribers, we love our fans, and we love creating as much fun content for you as possible.